Hi, I'm Levi Ramdelli, longtime Transformers artist for IDW Publishing, and I'm here to talk to you about The Kill Lock, which is an original science fiction project that I created. This was a series that I worked on for the last three years or so, kind of quietly. I only showed a couple friends while I was working on Transformers and other things, and it's been really rewarding to work on. It's the first kind of original idea that I wrote and drew, and just very thankful that it's going to have a home in IDW. So the Kill Lock deals with this concept of characters from different levels of society being sort of slammed together and forced to take care of each other and interact in a way that they never normally would have. I was really interested in this idea of if you took kind of a very moral soldier and you placed him with kind of a psychopath and then you added the element of a very innocent kid who knows nothing of the world and then you add a character who's an addict. So basically characters that would never normally be together are now forced to protect each other to survive. And the premise is that their particular society has a form of the death penalty, where if you've committed a crime, you are linked together and exiled with four other characters. So that if one of you dies, all of you die. So I've been a sci-fi fan like my whole life, like uh, like anything really Scott, James Cameron, like kind of all the classic examples, and I'd been wanting to write an original story for a long time now, especially being on Transformers for, for so many years. I really thought of, like, it really got attracted to the idea of having my own characters and be basically really controlling the world and spelling out what it is. So kind of quietly worked on this series over the last few years, only showed a couple people, but it's been just a very rewarding experience to work on. on this was I had like a basic concept in mind of like these characters being linked together then I had a kind of an overall plot and then after that it was sort of a mix of layouts since I'm drawing it along with scripting it at the same time so it was a bit of laying out pages and then figuring out dialogue as I went along but it's been it's been really interesting for even as much as I worked on comics there were things that like certain lines that I came up with years ago that I thought for sure would make it to the final but when I got there I was like you don't really need that line like the, the art kind of says that or it's better with, without spelling it out. Yeah, so I really, I really like uh, atmosphere and I really like the environments to feel believable and real and weathered. It's sort of like the reason that so many people like Star Wars and Blade Runner is the environments just feel very lived in. And I'm hoping that the series will have that quality, that when they go to a location, it'll sort of suggest like a history there before they arrive and that there will be history after they leave. And so just any kind of gritty atmosphere I really, really strive for. I'm, I'm hoping readers find it like uh, that there's some heart to it. It's sort of a rough concept. It's sort of a violent world, but I, I hope that they see heart in even some of the more kind of vile characters because I personally, I kind of like unlikable characters that aren't trying to be friends with the reader, you know? And so I hope that there's a kind of a richness to these characters that readers will like. I would say anyone who's interested in science fiction in general, if you're a Transformers fan, or if you just have never read Transformers comic ever, I think it stands alone as a pretty self-contained read. Even if you're not a sci-fi fan, I think that the concept sort of speaks beyond sci-fi. I think it has some universal themes of just humanity and morality and what you would do to survive. So the Kill Up will be coming soon. It's six issues at your local comic shop and also Comicsology. So check it out.